Hello YouTube and welcome to Groundworks. So welcome to the space race. We are playing Mars Horizon. So without further ado, let's get into it. Given that the most of uh, you have a total of five agencies to choose from and you have the capabilities of customizing your own space agency, which I'll do to a little bit. Given that the most of my viewers I'm from the good old US. I will be playing the NASA with a tiny bit of customization. You can change, as you can see, the appearance, the headquarters, the traits, and the diplomacy. I'm gonna just change the traits because I'm not crazy about total, you know, recruitment. I'll rather prefer efficient uh, construction reduction which is reduction in the build time so we have uh, the traits we have three additional contracts available 20 percent down vehicle build time and for the glory achieving top three milestone rank grants double support bonuses so we go for broke all right let's continue and we will leave the tutorial enable and only auto resolve open it for the request mission so the rest will leave as is right the space race has begun staying ahead of the pack will require unprecedented feats of engineering and no shortage of daring your role is to develop space program leading us into orbit and beyond keep our agency at the forefront of the space science and inspire generations to come and triumphs humans will one day set a foot on another planet make sure we get there first good luck director Thank you. Okay, so uh, given that this is a first let's play of the, the Mars Horizon, I need to explain a little bit about you know the UI, the systems and everything. This is a space race, but this is a very different beast than the Kerbal Space Program, where you control everything manually. This is all about setting up and executing. So here we're playing actually not Jeb, but let's say Gene Herman. So, uh, let's go through the UI. Solar System Screen is your gateway to various aspects involving running your agency, such as accessing research and base screens, selecting planets to discover available mission, and viewing recent upcoming events. Good. Uh, these are the tutorial objective, and of course, the rocket testing is well, we should build a sounding rocket. Well, that's pretty much a given, I would say. We can select the planets, but at the moment only Earth is available. So if we click the Earth, then we come to the mission selection screen where we see all the missions belonging to a selected planetary body. Uh, details can be seen here, such as the length of the mission and rewards to offer. Here we have milestone missions, which are the most important ones. And also we have the request missions, which will be there for a limited amount of time. Here we have the research requirements that we need to unlock a mission, for example, like artificial satellite, etc. And here we have the space races. How are we doing to compare to the others? So I'm a little bit going ahead because I don't want to read everything. So once we read, we'll plan the mission. And our first mission is that being the test launch, which is the sounding rocket, which we will do right away. So on this screen, we have to design and select a vehicle. So we have vehicle has no payload. So let's go into designing a vehicle. Here we will be building a sounding rocket. Yes, for a test launch, sound rockets can be selected. Fair enough. This is our sounding rocket. This is a vehicle designer. Well, we will be able to design vehicle for our mission. Here we have upper stages, and uh, here is the vehicle status. And check the booster small payload etc and i think we have to build a small launch pad because we don't have it that's what it says here this is the you know overview of the things yeah launch pad requirement no the launch pad requirement is still not met sounding rocket requires a small launch pad you can still design and build a vehicle without a required launch pad but you will need to build the launch pad in order to launch the vehicle okay well i'd say that's fair enough so let's continue we have launch reliability which is really on par with the Kerbal Space Program, so I think we're good. Confirm the design, ATK, I am happy with it. Once we'll be, we'll get the construction report, this is a street that may affect how you plan the next stage. Sure. Constructing the vehicle, hit it. 
construction order duchess well let's see if duchess brings us a good portion of good luck so researching the launch pad it takes a launch pad to construct so we should do appropriate research okay that's the guide towards guiding doing the research the research screen is where you can research new technology vital to progressing the split into three research trees missions buildings and vehicles this is the missions tree okay fair enough and these are the research nodes for example mission research artificial satellite must be before we can the payload underneath can be started so once we research the mission we have to research the payload as well okay fair enough research costs everything says what research costs we can select a node to view yes we can and here is the research errors and if we completing the research error will give us a powerful bonus then we have the buildings tree sure let's go there we have to research a small launch pad anyway the building tree is key to expand your base and your capabilities of your agency fair enough small launch pad to be able to launch your first mission select like small pad launch pad yes of course uh, I'm sorry for the first tutorial, but you know, we have to go there. And here we have the vehicles. Sounding rocket, booster, vanguard, contains the technologies, yada yada yada. Okay, here we go. So, uh, this we have actually, we're researching now. And here we can keep the track of the resources. Here we have funds, plus how much we get. Science, plus how much we get. And the support, how much we get. I think we're good. Important funds, science, yes, of course. Upcoming events will be displayed here. Funding review and Duchess complete. And the past events are coming into our mailbox. I would say good enough. And advancing time, let's continue. Small launchpad research complete. Wonderful. Has been unlocked. It can be constructed in our base. Accessing the base screen. Let's do it. Expanding aid base is vital to increasing capabilities, etc. You may be constructing your buildings. Okay, let's build. U and E, yes, good. Small launch pad. Oh. Okay, there it's a really detailed tutorial. I'll give them that. Build cost limits, yes, of course, to construct it. Select and here build. Okay, will do, Chief. There we go. A new building can be placed wherever the sufficient space, Z and X for rotation and adjacency bonuses. So, okay, we have a negative bonus if we build close to HQ, but positive if we build on next to space hangar. So I think we'll do it here. To the minus two vehicle build time, 40K. Good enough for me. All right, building construction. Once it's complete, you'll be able to launch your first rocket. That we will do. However, we can select no research is set, we can select the new research. And it recommended us the artificial satellite because we are supposed to go for a mission. And you guys, usually what we have to build, we have to go for the mission first, then vehicle capable of doing it, and then the building if we require a launch pad or something. So we're going to go with the mission here. There we go. Next month, touch is complete and small launch pad complete. Sounds good. Launch we have complete, okay, and our Duchess is also complete. Look at her. She's a beaut, all right? No effect. Okay, launch preparations. Okay, so this is our final stage in the mission plan. Involves assigning a crew, descending on training program, and setting up a launch date. Good. As this is on crew, no crew will be assigned. Training is also locked until appropriate buildings are constructed in your base. Yes. All that remains is set the launch date. And that we will do. We'll launch. Well, right away. Okay, the other agency seems to be researching this. Optimal windows are ideal launch dates. We search green and then we have gray and yeah. Other agencies, sure. Select date. Confirm. We can confirm the mission setup. Lunch approved. I almost sounded like I was approving my lunch. Okay, well, did the launch date set? Time to advanced. Yes, we will. 
All right, everybody, we have our first test launch. Optimal date, no training set, launch preparations. 25% launch reliability. That's one in four. Okay, the day looks pretty nice. April 1957. Adequate conditions, well, that gives me a little bit. Okay, so it's only 18% of critical failure. Let's hope that we don't, it doesn't come to that. Five, four, three, two, one. A real nail biter, this one. Come on, go up, go up. I really hope Jeb isn't flying this one. Okay. Well, negative systems damage, 25 mission reward, but it's still a success, so thank you. Okay, 15 plus 15 percent, and there we go. Test launch, we are the first. 150 and 187 for one month. Perfect. There we go. Congratulations on completing your first tutorial. Your test launch was a resounding success, granting your agency valuable support and science. Wonderful. Next step, Earth orbit. Artificial satellite is bound to valuable support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, require research. First step is to complete the research artificial satellite mission and its mission payload. Yeah, we are already doing that as far as I understand. Yes, we do. Which means in the next step we will be, the next month we'll be done with it. Artificial satellite research complete, wonderful. Dawn of spaceflight and we have unlocked the moon. Awesome. By researching the first area, you unlock the moon. The moon can be selected in the solar system screen, where a list of missions on the moon shall be shown. Reaching further areas will unlock more planets. Navigate by planet by using Q and E. Okay, and here's the moon. Look at it. Here we have lunar orbit and crewed moon landings. Milestone mission have two research requirements. Lunar orbit and pioneer. Well, I think it's a little bit further are the suggested research vehicle parts. As you can see, we are nowhere near that yet, so we leave Moon for the time being and focus rather on Earth, or actually research. And by here I mean we have to go with a payload, Explorer, and then after that we'll be doing the researching a little bit of the buildings, shall we? Research mission payload. There we go. Explorer research complete. You can start the mission plan. Select Earth, but know that you need a free mission slot in order to start a new mission plan. Yes. So, artificial satellite. As you can see, nobody did the required research, which means we are among the first. Suggested basic real parts, Vanguard and Viking. Okay, that's also what we need to research. However, payload is researched. I guess then we can go and do the research on these. There we go. Let's plan the mission. First we have to select the payload, which is our explorer. And as you can see, there will be variants. So we can do payload is starting overall rating, blah, blah. Payload reliability, which is 65%. A higher will generate to make mission tasks easier to complete, but we're sacrificing better modules. This is the mass, which we have to make sure that the upper stage can carry and has available variants. So, okay, let me show you, see the variants. So this one is improved communications, but reduce reliability, reduced build cost, but reliability and increased power, but increased build cost. But it's actually significantly, it's like 50% more. So I don't think it's worth it. Let's select the payload. There we go, and 
let's start the constructions. Okay, it will be done in two months, and during that time, we can actually, I think we could even do a mission, perhaps. Let's see, Earth requests. Test launch guidance system test. What would it give us? 100 support and 250 science. Well, we have no mission slots available. Okay, fair enough. Viking is complete and we need, as far as I understood, also the Vanguard as the booster. A small liquid fuel rocket designed for launching basic satellites into low Earth orbit. Wonderful. Okay, so we have built the Explorer payload. Standard plus 10 launch reliability plus 25 beacon build call. Payload reliability 65%. Nice. Design the vehicle. So we're still researching some parts, but I don't think that would prevent us. So let's see. Upper stage. Yeah, we'll need a vehicle capable of carrying payload to its destination. Made of booster and upper stage. Up, select upper stage to get started. We will. And we have, as you can see, none of them are researched except the Viking. And the Viking is actually good enough. Yes, so Viking is can carry 15 kilo, check and it's 15 kilo, Earth orbit, Earth orbit. Yes, good. Unresearched parts. Yes, selecting an upper stage. That one. Select. Good. Now let's select the booster. There we go. Booster, we have, I think it's, uh, was Vanguard or Viking? Vanguard. I think that's the one that we're researching. So, okay, it's still being researched, but the mass and the small launch pad and 73, it's decent reliability. And they are currently experience level, they level up as we launch. You saw that on the sounding rocket. Okay, there we go. This still needs to be researched. Fair enough. Let's confirm the design. Two months build time, 125k. We still have to do the research before we can build it, and that's halting us by a little bit. So next month, oh wait, design requires research. Yeah, I know, I know, but we are still doing the research. Yeah, see, next mission it will be done. Research required, sure. We're on track, people, no need to worry about that. What are other agencies doing? Look. They're already planning and they're still researching, so we're ahead of the curve. That's how I like to keep it. Alright, next month, Vanguard research complete. Wonderful. All of the required research for a vehicle design satellite is now being this means construction of a vehicle can start. So, let's build a vehicle. Do we have the cash? Yes, we do. Awesome. In two months, it will be done. While that is being done, let's focus on the research. We have no mission selected, which is decent, but I think we should go to the... I, I, I will almost like to race towards the mission control, and here we can improve. Let's see what this do. Research lab unlocks mission training science, mission training launch reliability, and payload reliability. I think I'm going to go for the science first because it will help speed up our research. There we go, and here build a mission vehicle, request, yeah we have no mission slots, okay, fair enough, artificial satellite, there we go, let's go, next month, nothing happening yet, and the next month, research lab complete, awesome. And I think our artificial satellite vehicle is complete, so we have to decide when to launch it. Gallant, plus five payload reliability. Wonderful. Okay, this is uncrewed mission. I have no buildings yet. I have just uh, researched the research lab. I haven't yet done anything, but let's, before we do that, we can actually build. Ah, it will take some time to build, I think, the research lab. Build. 
research lab. 100k, we can we have the cash for it. 125, okay, so. Okay, this would disrupt a little bit the flow of science per month. I would like to avoid minus three payload. So what do I build you here? 100k minus vehicle build cost minus build build. Sold. I'm down for that. Okay. Active missions. Yeah, we have no. Let's launch it. Well, we can pretty much launch next month. And let's see where there everybody else is. You see, Japan is projected to be second by launching in June and ESA in July. And uh, Russia and China, well, Russia is researching and China is planning it. So, okay. We'll be first by a large margin, hopefully, if everything goes well. So, confirm the mission setup. And while we're doing that, we don't want to waste any research. It would be a terrible thing to waste after all. So I think I'm gonna go with a little bit more. Hmm. I wonder, because I, I want to go get here. So I think I'm gonna go with the rocket test pad or a spacecraft assembly building. That's gonna be payload. I think the minigame is simple enough. Let's keep it this way. Alright. Next month. Okay. This is the big one, guys. So, 70% on the payload reliability and 73% on the launch. Let's hope it's good enough. Oh, shoot. I think the weather is crappy. Launch day gallon, December 1957. Yeah, I think the weather will be a problem. Bad conditions. Okay, that's almost 1 in 10 critical failure. Tell you what. Let's see. February, we still have an op sub up a capability for the window and nobody will be launching before us anyway. So I think we're there. Good to shoot it one day, one day forward. So, watch preview. We're gaining support left and right. That's wonderful. Thank you. Rocket test pad complete. New milestone challenge is now available. These are optional goals for your agency. You will complete a certain milestone in return for substantial rewards. View Milestone Challenge. Select Earth. Access the mission select screen. I think this is this. Complete three milestone missions. Alright. Yes, yes. That's fine. We have the plan here, but and we have some requests, but we cannot do them until we have first built a rocket test pad. Where do we put this? Okay, plus one launch reliability, minus three vehicle build cost. Yes, please. These things cost, but I guess that's fine. Okay, and now we go for the mission control, which is really important and I really need it. I'm worried it might be I have spent a little bit too much on it. So, research lab is complete. Mission Training Science, and we have Artificial Satellite Launch, February. Maybe I should have gone for January, who knows. Time will tell. Well, the weather seemed to be nice. Gallant. Okay. Come on, give me a plus. Good conditions. Adequate. Well, I'll take it. Five, four, three, two, one. We have lift off. We have lift off. 
Come on, get there, you wonderful little beast. Ooh, -hoo, nice one. Secure launch. Okay. Which gives us leveling up for our Vanguard and Viking. Wonderful. And we have to now perform the orbital insertion. New task, achieve Earth orbit. Okay, during mission you'll need to issue commands uh, to the payload in order to, to perform task objective. This is the task objective. And these are the payload commands. Simple enough. And we have two commands and four turns. Planning phase, which we do first plan, and that after that we confirm the commands, it will be executed. Okay, so this is how it works. So I need to reach two and two, and I will gonna shoot with three and three. So three comms, three data. Um, the idea is you want to avoid using the power commands as much as possible. Obviously, you cannot avoid them completely, but you can avoid them to, to a certain degree. So I'm thinking this guy and this guy would immediately shoot us up three so and we have two power to still resist if both go go haywire which first one did not awesome it almost critted here so we have gained one data which was kind of important because we're going to use now that one data to convert to three comms right now we have two more commands a turn completed each time after your previous have been attempted make sure you complete the task objective because before the turns run out and we can actually choose to recharge that's fine so now i want three i should execute this guy which will give me two and three and then I want to actually recharge one power just to be able to resist if I need to. So first have three and then. Okay, we didn't need that one. So we have, and in order we have Every mission will have a bonus objective. Of course, we're shooting for the bonus objective. I mean, that's a given. So we can go like this with one power and we recharge one just to be on the safe side and that will leave us one turn remaining, which I hope will unlock another bonus. Okay, we didn't need to resist, so this is pretty much a given. Which means we have achieved orbit and it's a plus 50%. It's a great success. And we're the first one to do it. Milestone, we have 225, plus 50% bonus, 300 support and 300 science for two months. Oh, that's amazing. Well... There we go, satellite in orbit. With your satellite in safely in orbit, you have achieved a major milestone for your agency and opened the door to launching more complex payloads, perhaps even those that could carry humans into space. Wonderful. Well, guys, given that we're approaching on the 30 minute mark, uh, I think this will be a great place to actually end the today's episode. With that being said, I'd like to thank you all for watching. As always, like if you like the episode, hit subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. This is Chromeforks, signing off. All right, so given that this is actually our first episode, I just wanted to do a little bit post commentary. Hope you like it. Let me know what you think about uh, the series. It's not exactly KSP, but I think uh, it's very fun and I really much enjoy playing it. And do let me know what are your suggestions and how you like the series. I will be continuing with this one and that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. See you later.